Medusa is my retelling of the Greek myth of Medusa and I was very interested in looking at the girl behind the myth and writing a story about one girl's journey towards self-understanding, self-acceptance and self-belief in a world that has made so many decisions for her and has made so many judgments upon her. And it's a novel about transformation, but not in the way that the Greek myth has normally transformed Medusa into a monster, but it's examining beauty and consent and what we think is ugly and what we think is beautiful, but also really strongly a sense of self underneath all the clamour of voices. I've been so lucky to have Olivia Lominette Gill, um, who is an extraordinary talent, um, fine artist, to illustrate the book with her, her paintings. And I'll show you a couple of them. Uh, I love, I mean, there's so many I could share, but I mean, I love, 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 love these octopi, I think they are. that's what you call them in the plural. Um, I mean, there's something, there's something quite bloody about them, obviously the colour and the sort of dripping down the page, but it is, they're so atmospheric, they're so evocative. She has such a talent. Um, she has this wildness to her, um, her work that really matches, I think, the, the tone of the book. And this is another gorgeous one. Here is Medusa in her little fishing boat with her beloved dog, Argentus. There he is. And there's Medusa. And these are in the early days of Medusa's life before she gets transformed. And here's just one more. These are Medusa's sisters, Sino and Eurali, who are also transformed by Athena into Gorgons. And the thing is with um, those two girls is that they quite like being monstros like monstrosities. <laughs> they um, love their wings and they, uh, they sort of embrace it in a different way to Medusa. They become fully immortal. Um, Medusa remains mortal.